Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to give you guys the best controller binds for non-class slash non-paddle players for Fortnite OG. I have here a new set of binds that I feel like are most optimal compared to the previous iterations of these binds that I've made before. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I'm happy to announce that I am now officially affiliated with Cinch Gaming. Cinch Gaming is an up-and-coming custom controller company that makes some of the best controller designs out there while also providing competitive options. They are the first company to ever introduce the mouse click triggers, which basically makes the triggers on your controller act as mouse clicks, simulating the speed and sound of an actual mouse. That is absolutely insane. You can use code BUFFALO to get 5% off of any store purchase, or you can also use my link in the description. Once again, thank you to Cinch Gaming for accepting me into their controller gang. Back to the video. So starting out with the PlayStation 4 as well as the PlayStation 5 controller, we're gonna have left stick sprint, right stick jump, X crouch slide repair, circle toggle pickaxe, square reload slash interact, triangle switch mode, touchpad for our editing, the right side of our d-pad for map, and the top side of our d-pad for inventory. You can pause the video and get all of the binds on screen right now and put them into your settings. The only kind of difference that you have to make on your current set of binds is that editing on touchpad. The way you do this is that you press the top portion of the touchpad on both PlayStation 4 as well as PlayStation 5 controllers. A lot of good players recommend touchpad editing and it is for that reason. Touchpad is essentially an extra button that PlayStation controllers have that most other controllers don't have. For the build controls, you just want to copy the settings on your screen right now while also maintaining Builder Pro. Once again, do not switch off of Builder Pro, it is a must to stay on Builder Pro. For the editing controls, we're going to have R1 reset, R2 select, and L2 confirm. However, the L2 confirm can be literally anything because I will highly recommend auto confirm edits on both for most players. With non class slash on paddle, you're already on an unoptimal way of playing the game. You need as much help as you can get, and auto confirm edits kind of cancels out that confirm button which allows you to have more space and a lot more freedom once again copy everything with the sprint the jump and the crouch side repair these are really really good for playstation controllers and if you're gonna ask in the comment section below right stick jump and x crouch side repair are standard for playstation as well as actually xbox controllers who play on non-class slash non-paddle jumping is an important aspect of the game and you do not want to let go of your thumbsticks while jumping that is just a no-go for the Xbox controllers, I'm going to be copying one of the fastest controller editors out there on non class slash on paddle, and luckily enough, he's on Xbox controller. So we're gonna have left stick edit, right stick jump, A crouch slide repair, B switch mode, X reload slash interact, Y toggle pickaxe, the select button for map, the left side of our d-pad for sprint, and the top side of our d-pad for inventory. I personally like left stick edit more than any other edit button in the game except obviously face buttons or paddles. But editing on the face buttons as well as on paddles are kind of exclusive to players on claw and players on paddle, so you want to start out with the left stick edit, which is kind of the universal editing bind for most controller players. And for the editing controls, I recommend RB reset, RT select, and LB confirm. However, the LB confirm is kind of non-significant or it's not a significant factor because you're always going to have auto confirm edits when you're on Xbox non-class national paddle. On Xbox, you're already losing out on an extra button that you need to play the game. We're definitely going to go for auto confirm edits. It just gives us more freedom once again, and it gives us more leverage to do more edits and it also just kind of makes the game easier for us these specific settings are used by bh reload or just reload i think i'm not sure if he's still in bh but just take a look at some of these highlights and tell me he's not a good player this guy is absolutely insane and if you want to become like him you can definitely start out with these minds thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and subscribe if you're not subscribed already make sure to check out cinch gaming in the link in the description below they currently have a black friday sale deal going on with deals up to 70 percent off and free shipping and kind of controllers that are shipped the same day which is absolutely insane and i highly recommend checking them out once again make sure to use code buffalo currently it's now on 10 percent with the black friday sale going on you could purchase literally anything on the store and you get a 10 percent off of any product that you purchase once again massive shout out to cinch gaming and that is going to be it for me once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye